Assalamu alaikum, my name is Amr Al-Ghandi. I'm a cybersecurity and digital forensic student at Imam Abdurrahman bin Faisal University uh, from the College of Computer Science and Information Technology. Uh, I'm going to explain the password cracking attacks. The agenda for today, we have the password cracking definition and common password cracking techniques and the lastly practical lab for Hashcat and Hydra tools. Uh, what is password cracking? Uh, password cracking is the process of attempting to gain unauthorized access to uh, restricted systems using common password algorithms or tools to guess that password. And most likely it's illegal for uh, attempting to compromise the system or gaining confidential information but you can use it in legal way to recover your password uh, what are the password cr cracking techniques we have three types of uh, we have three types of password cracking techniques and it's the most well-known techniques which are brute force rainbow table dictionary attack and there are many other techniques, but I'm gonna mention the well-known ones. So, first of all, the brute force attack is uh, the goal of it to recover the password by trying every possible combination of characters. Each combination pattern is attempted until the password is accepted or found. And it is the basic, the basic uh, technique but it takes time like a huge amount of time so the second attack is rainbow table uh, it, it's used to compare the password using a rainbow table every possible combination of characters is computed for the hash to create a rainbow table so when a rainbow table contains all possible uh, pre-computed hashes uh, the attacker captures uh, the password hash of the target and compares with the rainbow table. The advantage of a rainbow table is all hashes are pre-computed. Also, uh, it is fast to reveal the plain text. It's not gonna uh, like uh, the brute force will take le uh, more time, but the rainbow table will take less time. Uh, lastly, the dictionary attack. The dictionary attack is a password cracking application used with a dictionary file called WordList. Uh, this dictionary file contains the entire dictionary list of, win, uh, of known passwords used uh, to attempt to password recovery. Uh, this is the, the simplest type of password cracking and usually systems are not vulnerable to dictionary attacks if they are strong enough um, it's uh, one of the easiest one as I said and lastly uh, the lab demonstration using hashcat and hydra tools I'm gonna give you a brief tips you can follow to follow up with our uh, lab uh, first of all install the virtual machine in your uh, computer uh, second install the Kali Linux on your virtual machine uh, for more information visit these websites and I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, recording videos for the hashcat tool and the hydra, hydra tool and I'm gonna focus mainly on the dictionary attack since it is uh, legal since it's legal for educational purposes and uh, thank you all I'm going to demonstrate uh, password cracking using Kali Linux as you can see here we have multiple of hashes uh, all of them are MD5 but if you want to double check, you can use a tool on Kali Linux called Hash Identifier. 
So we're gonna write hash hyphen identifier. Then you're gonna paste the hash here. As you can see here, we have the possible hashes, one of them MD5. So now we're gonna go to, to the second tool, which is the hashcat for, uh, for password cracking. So we're gonna write sudo hashcat the a hyphen h as you can see here we have the hash mode the hash modes and for the md5 we have the mode which is zero you have many hash types here you can find it here or and the attack Sorry. The attack mode. The attack mode, which is uh, straight. We're gonna use straight because it's the most convenient one. So later on, we're gonna write sudo hashcat hyphen m, which is the hash mode, which is zero for the MD5, and hyphen a, which is the attack mode which is zero and we're gonna output uh, the correct password or correct hashes into this file called cracked bass.txt then we're gonna put the target hash which is h1.txt and uh, I showed uh, I showed you the the hashes here inside this file for the target hash and lastly we put the the word list which is rocku.txt it's the most uh, popular one in Kali Linux most uh, popular word list and lastly we're gonna we're gonna hide or disable the bot file because we already like uh, we already uh, cracked the password so we're gonna crack it again by uh, using this uh, this command which is the hyphen hyphen bot file disable then later on you're gonna hit enter as you can see here we have the file name which is the dictionary uh, dictionary rocku.txt this is the word list and it has like a lot of a lot of passwords inside it and the key space is this number and these the bytes and also as you can see after doing the brute force the status is cracked because uh, it's the easiest one uh, md5 is easiest to crack and the hash target is h1.txt now we can double check the password uh, password cracked inside this file as you can see here after each column we have the password in plain text for each hash so for example here one two three four five six seven and here one two eight abc one two three query ones password one Kaz X is W blue red and that's all thank you all for listening and have a nice day we're gonna use another tool called uh, Hydra it's basically for uh, password cracking as you can see we have these options you can use it in the with the command so basically we're gonna uh, like use a simple mail transfer protocol to uh, and we'll log in with a gmail a dummy gmail and we'll, we'll do a brute force by comparing this password with the gmail so we're gonna write sudo hydra 
SMTB, which is the protocol, SMTB, gmail.gmail.com, hyphen L, which is the login. So you're gonna log in with the tin tree, zero zero at gmail.com. Then we're gonna specify uh, the word list, raq.txt. Then we're gonna specify the port number. 465 then lastly we're gonna perform an SSL connection hyphen s capital then we're gonna write hyphen v small hyphen v capital it will show the verbose mod and login uh, plus pass for each attempt so enter uh, I forgot to write the protocol here again. I should write it twice. SMTP. All right. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna write the password. All right. Oh, I forgot to go to the Thank you.